Hey guys. <laughs> Just gonna make myself a little comfortable before we get started. All right. So I'm Old Loser in Brooklyn. Um, that's my handle on social media. I discuss trend cycles fashion, trendless items, basically just trying to put a positive spin on fashion, on trends, on the way we think about them. And today my show is all about bold fashion. Hey everyone for joining. Um, so I hope you grab yourself something to drink or something to eat or snack on um, and we can jump right into it. So before I show you guys some of my favorite pieces um, that I found on the Vera Shop app that kind of makes sense in my personal definition of what bold fashion means. I just want to make it very clear that everyone's definition of bold is going to vary from person to person. We all have different tastes. We all have different comfort levels, wearing different colors, prints, texture, silhouettes, and there is no right way or one way to wear something bold. So just off the top, I just want to mention that um, one of my favorite ways to think about, I guess, what bold fashion means to me is thinking about these kind of like four pillars. So we have color, pretty self-explanatory. We have texture, which can kind of refer to like, like how my shirt is sort of... Um, you know, ribbed, but it has this like interlocking detail on it. That's kind of an example of texture. You have silks, you have velvets, etc. So texture is a big, is a big piece of what bold fashion can mean to me as well. And you have silhouette, which arguably I think is the easiest way to create a bold look. Um, I've talked about this before, but I think it's really important for everyone to consider what they feel comfortable with, especially when it comes to um, like fabric. So I'm gonna show you an example of something I found on the Verishop app. It's, I have it highlighted right here. It's a really good deal. It's like half off right now. Um, it was 208 and now it's 106, which is a phenomenal deal. Um, it's a bias cut skirt and it's come, sorry my floor's a mess. Um, you know, this is just my bedroom but it comes in this really pretty like blue color and it has this nice subtle waistband here. So it kind of blends right into my shirt. And I think this is a really good example of subtle bold because it's kind of bold in the color. It's like a beautiful kind of like baby blue color. The picture on the screen is actually a better representation of the color. I just have a lot of sun in my room right now. But this is what I mean when I say choose fabrics that really work for you. So one of my favorite ways to kind of narrow down what I like and what I'm interested in is the fabric because I personally, for me, I naturally gravitate towards shiny materials. So whether it's like silk or satin or any kind of like blend that creates like a shiny sort of finish, um, I'm immediately drawn to that. And that's what's comfortable for me. And I think that is a really good kind of like jumping off point for when we talk about the texture and fabric pillar of what bold fashion means. Um, I think silk and satin and kind of like that shiny quality in materials is a very simple and classic um, kind of fabric to always go back to. It's trendless, it's never gonna go out of style silk and satin materials always will elevate a look like if this skirt was cotton it would give it a completely different feel um but because it's this beautiful kind of like satiny silky material it almost immediately looks expensive um and i'm not saying like you must uh buy things to make you look expensive it is true to size yes um this is a size medium um, I typically wear like a size six in pants, but um, I usually size up in my, in any bias cut skirt because I want to talk about bias cut as well, because bias cut is my favorite cut. I have, I mean, I have about 10 bias cut silk dresses and skirts, very similar to this. I've actually found a few of these um, vintage 
and it again it's a class it's just such a classic shape but i'm going to show you guys what bias cut is all right here we go okay so bias cut is any kind of cut where the fabric was cut to the side. And what's gonna happen when something's cut on the bias is it's just gonna fall and hold its shape. So if this was cut more on like up and down with the fabric, it wouldn't have this beautiful like flow to it where it holds it, it literally holds its shape and looks flowy like that. So no matter how you walk, it's going to hold its shape like that. Um, I think, I don't know exactly what it's made out of. Oh, wait, here I have a, nope, that's the style number. Oh, it's 100% viscose is what the tag says, but it has like a a satiny look to it. And I usually wear a, yeah, it, it's just because the sun is really intense in my room. There you go. It's not as shiny as it was just looking. Here's like, here it is in the sun and here it is in like more natural light. So it is definitely like shiny, but it's not, it's certainly not metallic. It's actually that picture, the picture, the stock image is actually really good representation. I would say the color is slightly lighter than the picture. It's like a baby, like a babyish powder blue. You can kind of see it well right here, the sun. Um, but I usually wear a size six, but I pretty much always take my mediums in a size, or I always take my bottoms in a size medium. Um, I don't think, I wouldn't recommend necessarily going a size up. This skirt is more true to size um, if you're interested in it. And I mean, maybe I'm biased. Sorry for the pun. But I think bias cut works on so many different body types. Like I'm, I'm kind of like a curvy, like fat skinny. Like I'm small, but I'm not thin. So I'm kind of like just an average build and I think bias cut just works so well for my body type I've seen it work so well on plus size girls thin girls bias cut just it just emphasizes your shape in like the most beautiful way I really can't say enough good things about it um and you can find stuff cut on the bias pretty much anywhere but it kind of in my opinion if something's cut on the bias it is like immediately higher quality because the production like the way that that piece gets made is just elevated in a way. And again, like you have your fabric, things running up and down. Bias is just cutting it on the diagonal so it holds its shape better. Um, so that's why I really recommend it. And I, I, I just think that anything that's a bias cut is seriously gonna work on so many different body types and look amazing. So if this skirt isn't necessarily like your thing, go search on Bear Shop, just bias cut or bias because I'm sure you'll find tons and tons of options. Um, I really recommend that cut of the skirt, um, especially, you know, if you're not, if you're just starting out on your personal style journey, or if you have a good idea about what it looks like already, um, I'm not one to say you need this because again, our tastes are so different. Everyone varies from person to person, but I really don't think if you're into wearing skirts or dresses, something cut on the bias is, is most likely going to work for you um but yeah i mean i'm clearly very passionate about this cut of skirt um but yeah what shoes would i wear i'd probably style it with these cowboy boots i can put them on for you guys if you want um these i just bought off of ebay um like literally any uh any socks i'm just gonna move you guys over here while i put my socks on and i can show you how the skirt looks um like actually fully styled. I'd probably wear it with this necklace, which I'll talk about in a second too. This is from Bear Shop, um, if I can find my socks. But yeah, I'd probably, if I was wearing this outfit, just like as it is, like the black overlock shirt and my skirt, I'd just pair it with some uh, cowboy boots. I'm really, I'm clearly really into cowboy boots right now. Um, I think that they are a trend. They're, it's definitely a trendy thing right now. But I've been living in New York for years, and I've seen Brooklyn girls rocking cowboy boots for the last five years. So I think they're having a moment now, but I do think that they're pretty classic, and they just look so good. I'm really glad that cowboy boots are having their moment, because they're just a really fun option. But yeah, let me style this for you guys, like, in full. So 
Maybe I'll put on my cowboy boots. All right. And then let's pick a bag. I'll pick this one. All right, so here's what it looks like with everything. Okay, so I got my skirt and I got my boots. Hope you guys can see that. Again, the sun's pretty intense in my room. Let me see if I can. Oh. Sorry, guys, lost you for a minute. Okay. So here's what it looks like styled. I'd wear it with my cowboy boots. And this is like one of my favorite silhouettes too, just like a simple outfit and kind of like a midi length skirt paired with some tall boots. And I'd style it with this um, Susan Alexandra cow print, like little beaded bag. But yeah, I like it. It's a simple outfit for me. Um, but I think what makes it more bold is the fabric. Yeah, of course. So here's the fabric and I'll show it to you in the sun. And here's what it looks like reflected. Again, like it's very good quality. It's satiny. And then for like a close up, here it is. I hope that helps. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. And I think almost everyone can wear it and look really nice in it. Um, I don't know if you guys have any other questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. This is something that I bought off of their shop a couple weeks ago and I've worn it at least once a week. Um, because again, it's very true to my personal style. Um, and it's classic while still being bold because again, the color and the fabric are what makes it bold. And when we go back to the four pillars of like what bold fashion means to me, you have color, you have silhouette, you have texture and, um, you have volume. So I think all of these things are things to kind of consider when you're going for a more bold look. And I don't think you need to pick all four. Um, I think, so like I gravitate more towards like black and white, uh, items. I kind of, I mean, I love experimenting with color, but most of the time, my, like I naturally gravitate towards black. That's my like safety color. I always go back to it. An all black look is so chic, but when I'm feeling like I want to infuse some boldness into my look, I think about color, texture, and silhouette. Those are like the three things. Volume, sometimes when I'm feeling like extra bold, I'll show you a piece I have um, in a second that kind of captures the volume uh, pillar. But my, like, I think the easiest way is um, like for impact is color because you guys probably already have things in your closet that are colorful. I would, you know, probably start there, but if you're looking for a, um, for like the bold fashion pillar of volume, let me just show you this gorgeous dress. I cannot hype up the quality of this dress enough. It's like, it's like batty cottage core, like aesthetic because it's, it's very much like cottage core, but it's like bad. It's like, I'll, I'll show you. Let me just show you. I'm going to put it on. So I'm still right here just chatting to you guys. Um, but it's, it's such a high quality dress. I'm obsessed with it. Hopefully you can't see me getting changed. Um, but what I love about it is it is like an ivory color, but it's fully lined. So like you are not going to have to worry about wearing any like under undergarments or like um shapewear or anything because it's fully lined so definitely get your money's worth out of this look like look at how pretty that is it is so pretty and the puff sleeves definitely needs a little bit of an ironing that's my bad but like look at the puff sleeves so it has puff sleeves but it also has this like very full subtle skirt and if you guys can see the the seams can i show this the seams kind of go in and pull away a little bit. So it kind of breaks up the bust line as well. And I would actually style it exactly the same as a skirt. Like I'd wear it with my cowboy boots and let's pick out a fun bag. All right, maybe this bag, another Susan Alexander bag. But like, how fun is this? And the best part about, okay, I'm gonna 
give another speech probably but when I do when I play with the volume aspect of bold fashion I usually keep the rest of my pieces pretty um, minimal so I'm not really I don't really layer when I'm wearing mm -hmm. something that has a lot of volume because I want the volume to be like the star of the show if you will so what I love about playing with volume is you don't need a lot of pieces to have a bold look. Like this is a neutral color. I'm wearing neutral color boots. I'll probably pair it with a fun bag, but the dress is bold on its own. Like it's just a statement piece on its own, but it can work so well for everybody. Let me show you guys the lining. This is like my, this is the lining. This is the lining. It's like, it's just very, very high quality. And I really like it. Um, let's see what kind of live deal you guys could get. Okay. So this is 140 and if you buy it off my live, it's 119 For a super high quality dress, that's a deal. Uh, I almost swore, but I don't think I'm allowed to swear on this. Um, I just get really excited by a deal. And I'd probably pair it for jewelry. I'd wear, I made this necklace a while ago. Actually, no, a couple weeks ago. It's just like old. Um, I bought a lot of, uh, like a literal lot of um, watches off of eBay and made the watch necklace, but this necklace is actually featured um, on my products over here. It's by Eight Other Reasons, really good brands, um, but it's like half pearls and half beads. So it's kind of like trendy, like one side is kind of trendy and one side is super classic. And I love mixing those two things together. So I think that's really fun. But again, when I'm, when I'm thinking about bold fashion, I think volume is probably the pillar that um, I feel like I could probably work on in the sense of like being a little bit more brave about it. Because again, like I really think that a dress like this speaks for itself. It's bold on its own. I don't need to do any layering. I don't need to over accessorize. I can just wear some simple boots and maybe like throw it with a like super fun, crazy bag and that's the look like it just it just works like it just works and I'm gonna do a spin sorry if this is cringy but again like very high quality fabric it's got pockets I know we love a dress with pockets um so I did just have to quickly mention that how tall are you I am 5'1 on a good day <laughs> um I'm really short um thank you I'm wearing ColourPop Ripple, and this is NYX Mermaid, I think. I've been really liking the two-toned makeup look, and it matches my necklace. Um, I did specifically do this for the show because I wanted to match my necklace. But another really fun um, piece that I think, again, plays with bold fashion is jewelry. Um, again, I mentioned this. I, I did my show last week uh, just talking about accessories, and... One of my favorite things to do is if I'm wearing a simple outfit is to go hard with the accessories. Um, I, I love this necklace from eight other reasons. You can get it for 33 down from 40 on the live. It's just a really fun, it's just a fun piece. And it's like, I think it's bold and simple at the same time. And those are really the pieces that like I'm super drawn to is it can kind of work either way. And plus, like I mentioned a million times, everyone's taste is different and ev what everyone considers to be bold varies. It's just, it's completely on the spectrum. Um, but I think this is a good example of something that mixes trendy with classic because you have like the fun, like beaded trend on one side and the other side is just like very, very um, classic pearls. So. I like this combination a lot um, with my DIY watch necklace that I made. And like, I just really like this outfit because again, it's, it's mixing the volume with the subtle color. And it, I mean, it has volume up on the sleeves and in the skirt. It's just like really, really beautiful. And I think it's pretty flattering um, for like a voluminous dress because it's fitted completely at the top. Like the, this whole top part is fitted and the volume starts happening at the drop waist. Um, but yeah, actually, sorry, this is an A-line, but yeah, this is how I'd style it. Um, pretty classic. And then if I really wanted the dress to be the star of the show, I'd probably put it with this like really small, simple bag too. So again, like mixing 
subtle with bold. Everyone's definition is going to vary, but I also love a puff sleeve. I think like, I actually talked about this on my TikTok today. I think puff sleeves are a really good example of something that went from trend to trendless. So like, what I mean by that is something that started off very, very trendy. Everyone was buying it. Everyone was wearing it. And it just kind of continues on that trajectory of sort of melting into the classic area because there's so much recognition for it. There's so many pieces. I mean, I think puff sleeves started like 10 years ago or something, and I still see them today. It's kind of like a play on um, – like the padded shoulder of the like 80s and 90s I think this is just like almost like a modern version of that and that's something that I love and I'm super passionate about is like tracing back trends like when they started how they evolved that's basically what I talk about on my TikTok all the time Um, but I think like puff sleeves is a fun example of that Um, just some you know food for thought but okay let me grab one more piece so I've talked about this piece before because I'm obsessed with it and it's probably not something you would immediately think of when you think of bold of what bold fashion is because again it's a neutral but again I'm going back to this to the silk I actually have this top in two colors because I loved it so much so here it is in black it's linked right here it's the um, Billy the Label top and they're both it's the same shirt, just different colors. Um, it's just a very simple collared button down shirt. But again, I think where the boldness comes through is the fabric. So again, like the fabric is kind of what makes a piece like this stand out to me in my mind anyway, um, because you get that like shiny, silky, like expensive quality without being like overtly bold because again I did try to select pieces that I think will work for everyone and what everyone's definition of bold may mean because again you know some folks might gravitate more towards color towards print but I think a way to look a little bit more elevated and bold is with the fabric so like anything again that's like going to be shiny or have like kind of like a sheen to it I think is just such an easy fun way to like bring the boldness to an outfit. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work with the dress I'm wearing now, but I'll show you guys what it looks like on. It's just, again, a very simple button down. And again, the fabric is super high quality. I wouldn't wear it like this. I'm just showing you for, to get a feel of how it looks on. Um, I'd wear it with something more fitted and have this be like the over shirt, but that's kind of how it looks on over the dress I just showed too. And basically what I did is, again, I I liked this top so much that I bought it in two different colors. Um, Here you go. All right, you guys wanna see my closet? Sure. Uh, It's kind of organized. It's actually really organized, but you wouldn't know it. It's like chaotic New York City organized. I have my wall of purses um, like on both sides because I collect bags, I love them. And then I have all my out of season clothes hung up here. And I actually have, you guys can say hi to my dog. Hi, Evie. And then I have my clothing rack of like in season pieces. And then those are delicates that I have drying in the window because I'm secretly from the Victorian era and like to, you know, dry out my silk, my slip dresses in the windowsill. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my closet. And then all my shoes are up there. You can say hi to my Tobbies. Hi, Tobbies. Um, but yeah, I kind of keep all my out of season clothes in my closet because I just have easier access to my rack. But yeah, that's my little New York city bedroom where I keep all my garments. Um, but, and, and then I have a pile of clothes on the floor because, um, I talk about fashion on TikTok a lot and my room is just perpetually covered in clothing. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. If you make fashion content, I have learned that the hard way, but yeah. Um, back to the tops. So this is something I like pretty rarely do. Um, I have to really like something to do this, but I have it in two colors because again, this, the quality of this shirt is just excellent. It's going to last for years and years. You can get 
I mean, and it's only $24 on the live down from 138, which is insane. If you guys can get anything on this live that I showed, get this top because it's such a good deal. Um, for especially for what it is, like you won't be disappointed with the quality. It's just a, a thick but lightweight um, material. It's satiny. It's shiny. It kind of will like spice up any outfit, um, but it wears really comfortably as well. So that's something I really really enjoy about this. Um, oops. Live always drains my battery so fast. We can get through this, guys. Four more minutes. Hopefully my phone doesn't die. Okay. But again, I am wearing it with puff sleeves, so you're not going to get, like, a perfect look at how it fits on. But, like, it's just so chic. It's just so chic for no reason either. Like, it's really the material that is elevating this piece, so it's not, like, your regular boring like cotton button down if this was cotton this would be a completely different vibe like because it's like a shiny like more expensive looking top even though it's 24 dollars, it just immediately elevates the the look um and like something like this again i probably wouldn't style it with this dress because it's my volume piece but you probably i probably could get away with this actually um and something i've been doing because I've had this piece for a couple weeks as well is um if the weather is like kind of like in between temperature which if you guys are in New York City the weather has been like hell recently and it's been raining you don't really know what to expect so something I've been doing is like throwing this on as like not even a coat but just like an extra layer if it suddenly gets like super cold or whatever because it's like again it's lightweight but the material is quite thick for a shirt like this. Um, don't be fooled by how uh, reduced the price is because the quality is immaculate. So immaculate, in fact, I have it in both colors. Um, actually, I don't know if this comes in another color besides black and white. If it does, I probably will get it too because I just really, really like these tops. Um, and I know we're talking about bold fashion technically but these can also be used as like as basics right like elevated basics i like to call them because it's taking a classic silhouette like the button down like just like a regular boring shirt and elevating it with the fabric and again something else i really like about it is the collar is like actually i'm gonna have to show you guys this because it's just so good so the collar is not like a regular collared shirt it's much more subtle Okay. So if you can see, if I was wearing like a regular collared shirt, it would be, it would be sticking out a little bit more and it wouldn't be so like subtle, but you can also, if you want to just wear it as a shirt, you can just literally flip the collar inside out and it becomes like a lightweight jacket look. So you can kind of, you know, play with versatility with a piece like this, flip the collar in for like a, almost like a cart. It's like a cardigan now. Um, but yeah, that's another thing I really like about it because any piece that you can get multiple uses out of and wear in multiple different ways is something that kind of evolves into a wardrobe staple. And I'm all about helping folks find wardrobe staples because you need them. You build your closet around what you consider staples. And I'm not saying like a black and white button down is going to be a basic for everyone. Um, but if it kind of calls to you, and if you think that you'd wear something like this all the time, um, I would definitely consider it because to me, this is an elevated basic. And I do want to make a mention, like the color of this, it's not white, it's like a cream color. So again, I think that little touch of the um, not like stark, stark white, uh, because I think stark white can be mistaken for like a businessy feel, but this is just like a really beautiful, like cream kind of like oatmeal color. And I really love it. I really, really love it. Um, but yeah, that's all my picks for today. I ran out of time clearly. Um, I don't know what Aaron has planned for me next week for my theme, but I can save these last two for next week. But um again guys when you're thinking about bold fashion remember that doesn't mean like you have to go in the direction of like camp or whatever like you can um make it whatever you want 
Oh, I so I stream every single Wednesday at seven on the Vera Shop app. Um, and it's really, really fun. Uh, I, I stream live on my TikTok quite a bit. You guys can follow me at, at Old Loser in Brooklyn on TikTok or Instagram if you're interested in hearing me talk more about fashion. Um, I talk a lot about trendless items because, again, I think the way that, like, basic is discussed is, like, always really negative, but it doesn't have to be. Everyone needs wardrobe basics to create outfits in their wardrobe. Like, you pair your wardrobe basics with your bold pieces to create a full look. And I think it's really important to discuss them in a positive way because everyone needs them. Everyone needs them. Um, so I have a full series talking about trendless pieces, bold fashion, all of these topics. You guys can find me on TikTok for more at Old Loser in Brooklyn. Um, but I will be back on the Vera Shop app next Wednesday at 7, as always. Um, really excited. I love working with Vera Shop. They're like one of the best companies ever. And live stream shopping is the future of shopping online. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm only a trend analyst, but it is the future. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think and send me any feedback to my Instagram or TikTok. Okay, bye.